Hello and welcome to this video on adding and subtracting thirds. Now let's just say I had 2x and I added 3x, what do I get? Well we could think of this as 2 lots of x plus 3 lots of x which would be 5 lots of x. So those two terms would just collect and we get this. So similarly if I wrote this first question here, the square root of 3 plus 2 root 3, we could say that as, well, we've got one lot of root 3 plus two lots of root 3, we would have three lots of root 3, wouldn't we? And we could write that as this in a similar way. 5x just means 5 times x. 3 root 3 just means three lots of root 3, three times root 3. So just like we can collect terms if they have the same variable, we can also collect thirds if you have the same thing under the root. So if I had, for example, root 3 plus root 2, then I can't simplify that because the numbers under the roots don't match. Let's do some of these other ones. We've got 10 root 2 minus root 2. So we can just think of that as 10 lots of root 2 minus 1 lot of root 2. Well, that's 9 lots of root 2. What about question 3? Root 8 plus root 2. Well, this time, these numbers don't match, but it's possible to simplify the thirds so that the thing under the root does match. So, root 8, how do we simplify that? Well, we saw in the previous video that we just find the biggest square factor that goes into that number. Now, the biggest square factor of 8 is 4, so we write it as root 4 root 2, because 4 times 2 is 8. And we always put the square factor first, and we've still got that plus root 2. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, so we've got 2 root 2 plus root 2. And if we've got 2 lots of root 2 plus 1 lot of root 2, that's 3 lots of root 2. We can collect these together. Now, we're collecting like terms effectively because the number under the square root is the same. What about 4? We've got 2 root 5 plus root 45. Now, that third is in its simplest form, but that third is not because there is a square factor. So we've got 2 root 5 plus, what's the biggest square number that goes into 45? Well, it's 9. So we could write it as root 9 root, well, 9 times 5 is 45. So that becomes 2 root 5 plus the square root of 9 is 3. So it's 3 root 5. And then 2 lots of root 5 plus 3 lots of root 5 is 5 lots of root 5. So it's 5 root 5. What about these other ones? We've got question 5. We've got root 75 minus root 12. We need to simplify both of these. What's the biggest square number that goes into 75? It's 25. So it's root 25 root 3, because 25 times 3 is 75, minus biggest square number in 12. It's root 4. So 4 times 3 is 12. So it's root 4 root 3, putting the square numbers first in each case. Now that is 5 root 3, because the square root of 25 is 5, minus that's 2 root 3, and if you've got 5 lots of root 3 minus 2 lots of root 3, you have 3 lots of root 3. So that is the final answer. And by the way, you can write these on your calculator exactly as it is, and it will give you that as the answer. So you can always check if you have a calculator available. What about the next one? We've got 5 root 8 minus 2 root 18. Well. The biggest square number that goes into 8 is 4, so it's 5 root 4 root 2. Subtract 2 and then root 18, what's the biggest square number? It's 9, so it's root 9 root 2. And then let's just simplify this. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, and we can times that 2 by the 5, so it's 10 root 2. So just combine the non thirds together when you're timesing them. And that is 2 times 3, the square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so it's 6 root 2, minus 6 root 2. So we've got 10 lots of root 2 minus 6 lots of root 2, that's 4 lots of root 2. And finally, we've got 7 root 12 minus root 50. Well, root 12 could be written as root 4 root 3, and root 50 can be written as root 25 root 2. So 7 times 2 is 14, so it's 14 root 3, and then that's just 5 root 2, so it's minus 5 root 2. And that we can't actually simplify, that was a trick question, because these two numbers under the root are different. 